Hi, in this demonstration, we're going to show the effects of RDMA networking in a high-end storage workload. So this is a configuration we used in a previous demo. It has a, an SMB server called IGI-1 with three NVMe devices from Micron uh, configured in a storage pool and as a virtual disk a storage space. And then we're creating a share and we're consuming this from IGI-2 which is another machine that has a 100 gigabit networking card from Mellanox that is accessing the remote storage. So you can see that we are delivering about 11.1 gigabytes a second, which is a fairly healthy uh, throughput. And we're also doing this using one just one millisecond latency. And uh, this is something that uh, is very low for 64K I.O. And you can see also here the CPU utilization is 13, 14 percent, which is which is very good. So this is the system running with RDMA networking turned on on this Connect X uh, 400 gigabit adapter. But uh, I want to measure how what is the impact of RDMA? And we're going to do this by using a PowerShell commandlet that disables the RDMA function of the network interface. So uh, once I do this, what's going to happen is we're going to turn, turn off RDMA on that NIC. And now you see that we're just doing regular TCP IP. With that, you can notice that uh, our performance, our throughput dropped uh, to 5.7 gigabytes a second, which was about half of what we had before. And in addition to that, you can see that our latency uh, uh, went from one to two milliseconds. So we doubled our latency. And our CPU utilization, uh, which is uh, up on top, uh, although we have reduced our performance by half, we are still uh, consuming about 20% of the CPU to deliver this workload. So if you do the math there, we're doing half of the work and we have uh, at least uh, a jump from 13 to 20%. So the difference here is basically because we switched to TCP IP, SMB will uh, start using four TCP connections, which is what we usually do uh, per interface. And you can see that there are four CPU cores that are pegged at 100%. So even though overall I still have CPU available, TCP IP uses a connection uh, for uses a core for each connection, and then I can only leverage these four CPU cores, and and therefore I am pegged and limited in my performance. That's why I cannot achieve uh, the performance that I had before doing this. And it uh, we. You can actually go back to RDMA. So uh, with SMB, I can simply uh, re-enable the RDMA interface, and then you can see that we have the same performance that we had before. So RDMA is making a big difference here.